We are under the bright lights tonight as MLB Network welcomes you to this presentation of Major League Baseball. Here it's the second of this three-game set between the Boston Red Sox and the Kansas City Royals. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Jacob Junis will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty D, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's been like white hot. How about a whip under 1.00 in his last three starts? Not a lot of base runners, and that usually adds up to a lot of success. Let's see if he can continue to do that in this one here today. Next up for the Red Sox, Adam Eaton. He's currently ninth in the American League batting race entering play. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming yeah. into this year. There's a fastball on the inner oh third taken for a strike. First pitch, 6 0 5. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and one. This one's down to third. And this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. Dan, I'll tell you, it doesn't matter what it looks like right there. That lawn dart felt so good. Oh, Devo, this guy's been due. He really needed that one. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's batting 500, 6 for 12. Here's the 0 1 pitch. That's the ball. Time for a look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Earl Hendricks. Hey, D Earl, Earl Hendricks, he, he's not a guy that gets a lot of complaints by either players or pitchers. He's a pretty good umpire. Yeah, Dan, Earl's got a great track record in his sport. He's pretty consistent, and overall, he's been a fair umpire. There's one. The turn throw is in time, and what do you know, they do get the double play. That is hurt. The left viewer. And now here's how the visiting Red Sox line up in this one. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? Well, you know one thing. You have to be careful with Mitch Moreland. He doesn't let the pressure of the big moment get to him. I love watching this guy hit the clutch situations. It's like he takes a deep breath and everything stops in front of him. He plays like the Zen man. First pitch coming. Here it is. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Bases are empty here with two men out. Count now a ball and a strike. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Couldn't lay off that time, and it's one and two. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Good plate oh. discipline to lay off the slider that time, and he draws even a two and two. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for Boston. The Royals will get their chance now at a scoreless ball game. Nate Valdi will be the starter for the Bo Sox in this contest. Dan Plezak, what do you got? 
Hey, Maddie, we're getting a chance to look at a guy that's really struggled lately. ERA over nine in his last three starts, and he has to do a lot better. This guy isn't that bad of a pitcher, but one of the keys, he needs to start limiting the number of hits and to limit the number of base on balls. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn things around in this one here today. Striding in, Adalberto Mondesi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. Well, they've been on a pretty good roll of late. Winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Maddie, they started yesterday off on the right foot. If they get put together two games in a row, a lot of positive vibes start happening. You never know. This could be a jump start to big things. One ball, one strike to count. A two and one count to the leadoff hitter for Kansas City. Now the 2 1 pitch. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Having a little trouble finding the zone to start the night. It's always deflating to walk the leadoff guy in the game. So we'll see if he can initiate some contact here. The 3 1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. Sure took a healthy hack that time. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. As if things aren't tough enough here playing in this hostile environment, he walks the leadoff hitter. And, oh, yeah, he's a threat to run every time he gets on base. Not the way he wanted to start this outing. Digging in now for Kansas City, Alex Gordon. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. He's set. Here's the 0 1. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Full count now, three and two. Defense has got to be on their toes right here. Three two count runner on first has got some serious wheels. You know he's probably being put in motion. Mondesi gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And boy that misses as well. It's back to back walks to start out the inning. At this rate he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. With Merrifield next to bat he enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. What a terrific season this guy's having up near the leaders in batting average without a doubt the highest average and the best hitter on this team. Here comes the first pitch and this one gets away. So now two men in scoring position. Well he's just lost complete control of the baseball in this inning. Two walks and now a wild pitch. You know he's talking to himself in his head and I can't imagine he's saying any real nice things either. Now the 1 0. Popped up. Moreland over to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. A 
chance now from the K to have a look at the starting nine for these Royals. Dero, tell us about this lineup as they try to force a rubber match in the series. Matty, this lineup is built on one thing. Their best tool is the fact that they have amazing speed up and down the lineup. I don't I don't even think the third base coach gives a steal sign. I think a lot of these guys have the green light. So be on the lookout for that today. In is Jorge Soler and a chance to add to his league leading RBI total right here. Yeah that's kind of surprising to me. I mean he's a good player but I don't think many pegged him as one of the best run producers in the game coming into this year but he's having a breakout year no question about it. One ball no strikes the count. Now the 1 0. -oh. Nope ball. Runners are at second and third with one down. Too tight with Three that one. Three and oh. This is a spot you like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Taking all the way that time. It's three and one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Second and third here, one man out. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. And with first base open, the last thing he wanted to do was give him something to hit the heart of the zone. So no harm done. Force out anywhere now. And that brings in Hunter Dozier. First delivery to him on the way. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Looking at his career totals, Dozier carries a batting line a little over the 260 mark. Here's the 0 1 pitch. That's the ball. 1 1. 23 pitches already here in the first inning. Swing and a miss on the cut fastball. One and two. Two and two to Hunter Dozier. Drops to the hitter right there for laying off with a guy on third. You want to be aggressive, but you have to get a pitch you can drive. The two-two. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Got his job done there and made it look pretty simple. Got it into the outfield to bring home the first run of the game and pick up the RBI. At the plate, Salvador Perez. And a great chance here for Kansas City to add on in just the first inning. Looking to minimize the damage here. Tough situation early out on the mound, but if he can limit the damage right here, might build some confidence and get him rolling. Two men are on with two men out. Salvador Perez behind in the count, nothing in two. Swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So it winds up being a run on no hits, and they leave two men on. On now to the top half of inning number two. It's the Royals one, and the Red Sox nothing. 
Here's Xander Bogarts now. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and one, here it comes. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, not afraid to execute. Slapped hard the opposite way. Soler is there, and he makes the catch for the out. That is good. The third base. Rafael Devers. Digging in, Rafael Devers. First offering on its way. Hit out towards second. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball's going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. So here's Michael Chavis now as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This is line to left. He lays out for it, but he can't pull it in. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year, but you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Here's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. 261, the average coming into action here. Five homers and an even 20 RBIs. Comes set with the 0 and 1. Line towards center field. That's in there. Base hit. The relay, and he's safe. Hey guys, he's lucky he's getting this baseball back. He hung that middle of the plate. The batter's eyes lit up, and he was able to put Goodwood on it. Standing in now, Christian Vasquez, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Oh, one pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, and he's in control. 0 and 2. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. Here's the 0 and 2. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. Just flat out frozen there. Nothing too deceptive about that four seam fastball. So I think he wasn't expecting it at all. Joey Wendell digs in now as he'll take a look at a high strike that time. It's nothing in one. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for.
comes set the 0 1 high in the air down the right field line but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball runners on first and third two away. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Red Sox settle for just the one. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two, all tied at one and one. Last half of the second set to go, and here comes the first baseman, Ryan O'Hearn. The first baseman. Number infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Go, up. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Skied into very shallow right. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Batting it. A designated hitter. Mike Hell. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus on the guy behind the dish tonight, Christian Vasquez. Lock in on this guy. Some say he looks like a young Pudge Rodriguez in his prime. The bat's coming, but the way he massages this pitching staff, it should be your focus. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Franco is unlike many of today's hitters in the sense that he doesn't have a lot of swing and miss in his approach at the plate. More often than not, he gets contact, and I'm sure that makes him a frustrating hitter to face from a pitcher's standpoint. You know, he takes his chances when he has count leverage, without question. 1 0, 2 0. You'll see this guy try and get nasty a little bit, but he stays within himself. He knows what his strengths are, and he tries to drive the ball right back where it came from. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner, and it's a foul ball. Here now the 2 2. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Vasquez gathers, and he makes the throw to first. Franco is retired, two that down is now. The better fielder. Brett Phillips will bat next. He drove in the other of their two runs last night. First pitch coming, here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And the Royals are going to have their first hit of the ball game. Now back, number 27. Back to the top of the order now, and striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. coming here it is now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone and he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him one and one hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there he's walked a couple people early in this game got to find out if he can find the zone if he wants to walk them all in we'll take it One one misses ball two that hook stayed up in the zone you can see he struggled with that curveball early he's trying to find that release point with his off speed pitches but to see if he can find the feel for that thing moving forward and he turns on one sending it high and deep to right looking up is Benintendi and that baby's gone. A two run blast to straight away right field. Home run number nine on the year. And it's given the Royals a three to one lead. Every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. 
Here's the left fielder Alex Gordon. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Gordon, a native of Nebraska, the Cornhusker State, as they call it. He's in the midst of his 14th major league season, so I guess you could say baseball has been good to him. Yeah, and that's the name of the game with this guy. You don't hang around 13 years. I always say this. You show me a good teammate, I'll show you a guy who opens the door every day, and you know exactly what you're getting. The consistency this guy has had can't go unnoticed, and he's had an amazing career. Now the 2-0. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. The Royals come up with a pair, however, on this two-run home run. We've played two. It's now 3-1 KC. Adam Eaton digging in next. He'll start things out here with his guys down a pair as we begin the third. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pitcher wants to have a quick inning right here, capitalize on the momentum his batters have. The windup and the 0 1. Hit back up the middle. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. So he's aboard again with his second hit of the game here in the top of the third. And you can see on the graphic there, he currently leads the Red Sox in that department. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Drives it to deep right field. So they're going back. He's not going to have a play on it. And this might bring home the runner from first. Now the relay home. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. When this thing left his bat, I started thinking it might have enough to get out of here. Didn't quite carry enough. But it does one hop the wall off the track and he cruises into second with an RBI two bagger. You'll take that every day of the week. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez as he'll swing and lift a fly ball to right center. And that's going to fall for a base hit. He'll come home with it. And not in time as the run scores. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. And that brings in Xander Bogarts as he hits one on a line to left field. And that gets down, and we'll see if that's extra bases. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That's a grind pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate, and this batter's able to fight and keep his hands inside this baseball and drive it for a knock. Impressive. Rafael Devers the next to bat as he'll take a breaking ball then off the plate for ball one a base hit in his first trip liner in there for a base hit and to score is the runner from third it's a four to three game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. In now, Michael Chavis. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. And they're runners at the corners now. A 
out, ball and a strike. One and one. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two. There's Merrifield on to first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. Digging in for his second at bat, Mitch Moreland looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. And now pitch on the way. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. So they score four times on five base hits. No errors and no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Red Sox lead it five to three. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Whit Merrifield. The second baseman, Whit Merrifield. Pitch on the way. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Bouncer to the left side. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. No right fielder. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Royals. Jorge Soler reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Here's the pitch. In tight at 93, ball one. Bases are empty, one man out. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. And it misses, three and one now. Shot toward right center, but this will not get out there deep enough as it's run down by the right fielder in the alley for the second out. Well, this one was squared up pretty good, but just like pitchers give up hits on well-executed pitches, batters make outs on balls they couldn't have hit much better. So bases are empty here with two gone, and that'll bring up Hunter Dozier. First pitch on its way. Hit to short. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. KC down in order. Still a two run deficit. It's five to three. New inning set to get underway. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box okay. comes Christian Vasquez. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Here comes the first pitch. He'll start him with a fastball down and in for a ball, 1 and 0. Lots of hits given up, but so far, no walks. At least he's making them work to get on base. Problem is, they haven't had to work too hard. The 1 0 home. Hit on the ground to short. Mondesi picks it up. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The batter, the second baseman, Joey Wendell. 
Into the box now. Joey Wendell looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick That's with you ball. a little Not longer. Bad. Ball one to start the at bat. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. That oh. missed. Close. It's ball two. Who knows it now? Two well count the pitch. Good. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. There's a oh. fastball well off the plate for a ball. Adam Eaton is on deck. He'll hit next. The 3 1. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. The center field is number 10. Oh, man, that check swing was about as close as they get. Tough call for the umpire, but it goes the batter's way this time, and he draws the walk. In now is Adam Eaton and after that quick walk is it fair to wonder if this starter is beginning to show signs of getting tired. Yeah that could be the case Matty. Sometimes you just lose your focus lose your command but it'll be real important for him to get it back as this next hitter walks up to the plate. He's ready. Here's the first offering. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Here's the 1-0. Fastball well outside. The 2 0. Lifted down the line in left. Going after it is Gordon. And no one will track it down. The 2 1 home. Ooh, he saws him off with that one. Throw just in time as they get him by an eyelash. And you know, guys, if this bat doesn't break, it's probably a double play ball, but that just wasn't happening here. Good job to make sure of one, though. Coming to the plate now, Andrew Benintendi, runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. A one pitch on its way. Tries to That's shave the, the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Line drive to left. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a play there to end the inning. Worth a second look here as this is a beauty to end the inning. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with the Kansas City manager during the inning break about the Royals' offensive production to this point. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've already worked out three walks, so he feels as though that kind of willingness to let the opposition work themselves into trouble will continue to result in good things for them on the scoreboard. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks.
ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Salvador Perez. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1 0 home. Down the first baseline. And this is by Moreland and down the line. A fair ball. Hey, just a nice piece of hitting right there. He's able to keep his hands inside that ball, stay square as long as possible, and feed it into the opposite field for a base hit. To the plate now, Ryan O'Hearn. As he'll take a look at ball one. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. The 1 0 home. Outside, ball. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a three zero count. Has a look now, the pitch, and he will take ball four, first and second now with nobody out. Always tough to issue a free pass, but especially troublesome when you give up a single right before that to start the inning. We'll see if he can figure out a way to wiggle out of this. So next to the plate for the Royals, Michael Franco. And he's looking to make something happen here with two on and nobody out. Well, early in the count, expect him to look for a ball to drive. If he gets two strikes against him, he'll need to change his plan and focus on moving the runners up. This game is too close to get greedy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good take there to lay off the high fastball. Hey, this dude's clearly capable of clearing the bases with one swing. So I think to approach this guy is try to keep the ball off the plate. See if they can get him to chase something. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Eaton. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. So a nice running catch on display that time as we get a look at it again with show track. He took a nice route, covered a good amount of ground, 100 feet to be exact, to bring that one in. Well done. So one out here with runners at first and third. And that brings up outfielder Brett Phillips. As a look, now the pitch. Everyone in the ballpark knows what the pitcher's intentions are in this situation. Great job at the plate to lay off a tough pitch in a good spot. The 1 0. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back to back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through, deliver a nice line drive. Into the box, Adalberto Mondesi. Batting left handed here as he takes a look at strike one. Set and the 0 1. Grounded back up the middle. The second for one on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. 
Allen. Now at the plate, Gordon. Alex Gordon, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Here's the first pitch to him. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. This is badly. It's ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Hi. High fastball is in there. Four runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Yeah. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. Two and two. Here it is. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Royals settle for just the one. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Red Sox on top. Five to four. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, J.D. Martinez. Martinez. He's ready. Here's the first offering. One and no delivery. Oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on it. the way outside three and zero oh now not the way you'd like to start this fifth inning falling behind three and oh on the count it's about time he starts throwing some strikes and oh they won't let him walk that easily as that somehow ruled the strike three and one now And the pitch. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Wow, if that's not a strike, I don't know what is. I know these subs have a tough job. I get it. We'll see if he gets the next borderline call or if there are any makeup calls coming up. Mike Montgomery takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Bogarts will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. From the belt, kicks and deals. with no outs here. Oh. 
one and two to the Boston shortstop. One two. Sent on the ground out to second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you got to be a little frustrated right here that ball found the ball. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch and a guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not. And now we've got a couple of guys on. Now a ball sliced out of play down the left field line. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ready with the 0 1. And there's ball one. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two is looked at for ball number two. And a huge strikeout there as he certainly does his job out of the pen. And we'll see how they go after the next guy here. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. So now to the plate, Michael Chavis. As he'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 0-1 delivery. Strike two. 0-2. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone. So I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. At the plate now, Mitch Moreland. Merrifield brings it in. And the throw to first will be in time, so the Red Sox come up empty, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They lead it 5-4. to four. John Gant, a right-handed reliever standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Number 53, John Gant. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and with Merrifield will dig in at the plate. Here's the first pitch to him. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Ball and a strike. One and one. Fastball nope, well outside. Ball. Line to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Boy, after that base knock right there, D. Rowe, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tough, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much.
He's set. Here it comes. Ball one. In his career, Soler comes into play with a slugging percentage over 490, just shy of 500. So he's looking to inch closer to that nice plateau right here. Now a check swing on the pitch inside, but he definitely broke the plane, and that's the first strike. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. When the pitcher on the mound's established in this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. Boy, he's having a hard time just putting the ball in play right now. now he took the hat trick with three strikeouts yesterday, and here's another one today. Looks to me like he just needs to simplify his approach and focus on making some contact. Hunter Dozier digging in now. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he misses two and one. Can't find the zone there and it's three and one. Do up next is Salvador Perez. Runner at second here with one man out. And the count will be full. And another foul ball. The next 3 2. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Stepping up now, Salvador Perez, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Takes this the other way to right, and Ben Intendi's got it to end the inning. Royals leave one, and the deficit holds at five to four. For the sixth about to get started, and next to hit is the catcher, Christian Vasquez. Here comes the first pitch. Hey, a changeup can be a pretty good pitch on the first pitch. Kind of slow down a good fastball hitter. The windup and the 0 1. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at 1 and 1. Line to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Good contact to start out the inning. Thought he might be on base with some sort of a hit, but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Standing in, Joey Wendell. First offering on its way. That missed. That's the ball. One out, nobody on. And he falls no, behind now, 2 0. Oh. And 
little doubt about that one. That's in there, and it's two and one. Gutsy pitch right there. 2 0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. Three and one now. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. The three and one pitch. And the third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. Heading after it is Phillips. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. The center fielder, number 10, Adam Ethan. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Adam Eaton. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit out towards second. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit. Hey, <laughs> Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, you'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a home or a walk or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. At the plate, Andrew Benintendi. As he'll watch a sinker here that misses, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. One zero count. Here it is. Two out with the man at first. Keeping it down here as it's to one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two is the count. Two two here it is lifted into center field and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away and that ends the inning Red Sox leave one they hold on to a five four lead. Bottom of the inning now and next to battle be the first baseman Ryan O'Hearn. The first baseman. Now here's the pitch. Started to go around, but it's ruled strike one anyway. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit. Stepping in now, Michael Franco. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Two mid 90s fastballs right there that he doesn't seem to think he can catch up to. I wouldn't be shocked if he came right at him again with another good one. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure.
And he fouls this one off. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll reach second now with one away. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it. Bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. In now, Brett Phillips. Right side, but it's well fouled. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called the strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Fastball well off the plate for a ball. Lifted the other way to left center. Eaton on the move. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Settling in now, Adalberto Mondesi. Perhaps he can drive another one out of the park just like he did back in the second. From the stretch. One out. One and oh, here it is. Rounded down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. One and two, the counts of the Royals shortstop. One, two. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Can't find the zone there as he lays off the breaking ball. Alex Gordon would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Ready with the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with two out. Digging in to try it again. Alex Gordon 0 for 2 for him to this point. First pitch on its way. Rounded up the first baseline. In the dirt here. Good job to get to that quickly, though, and the count will even at one. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and the Royals can't cash in as the inning is over. Royals strand a pair. Still down a run. It's five to four. Here's J.D. Martinez. Moving off the Boston, the left fielder, J.D. Martinez. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. The 1-0. -oh. 
It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. 1-1 one, one pitch and a good sinker there, but he can't find the zone 2-1. Two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Now the 2-1 pitch is taken ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And a ball good four. take Pick there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Show some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. From the stretch. Wow. Perfect time for a mound visit right here. Just to give him a breather, a chance to collect himself and get back to work. Come on, and he watches a called strike as this one bears in on him. One and one. From the stretch. Cold strike on the inside, and he can't believe it at the plate. It's one and two now. From the stretch. Oh, on the ground to short. Could this be two? To second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Now that was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. One man is out in the Red Sox seventh, and that brings up the third baseman, Rafael Devers. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, and one. The 0 1 pitch. No, that missed. That's the ball. And this one's in the dirt. And maybe some miscommunication there as the throw zips right by him. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. One out and a runner on second base. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Now back. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, Dero, to make sure that gets down and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Eric Scoglin takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Michael Chavis will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. From the stretch. Strike one to start the at bat. Let's go, Come on, 
into the corner and slicing foul. Runners are at first and third, one away. And a good curveball there, but he wouldn't bite. It's one and two. Big spot right here. That's a great pitch to try and see if you could get him to fish outside the zone. He's still in the driver's seat right now, and I'd expect something else to miss off the plate. One and two. Here it comes. And here's a swing and a miss. And that, folks, is a big out number two. Boy, there's the perfect pitch right there, the straight changeup. He hadn't used it yet in this at bat, and what does he do? He uses it, pulls the string, and gets the big strikeout. Into the box, Mitch Moreland. As he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner, it's 0-1. Runners at the corners, two men out. Lifted in the air to center field. Phillips is there for it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Boston strands a couple. They lead it five to four. Ryan Brazier gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Ryan Brazier. With Merrifield next to hit. It was a single for him in his last at bat. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. The one-two is taken for ball two. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Heading out towards shallow right. Waiting on it is Benintendi. And that's the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 12, Jorge. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. He's set and the pitch. One out, nobody on. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. its way the 0 2 pitch and a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there two away oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games that's his fifth strikeout in this series alone so clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy we'll see if he can make any adjustments To the plate now, Hunter Dozier. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. The 1 0. 2 0 to a guy with this kind of pop, you better be awfully careful because he's going to be swinging out of his shoes. The pitch down low and the plot thickens here three and zero. Oh. now 
Now here it comes. Hard hit ball to second. Leaps and makes a terrific catch. And with that, the side is retired. A ball ticketed for right center, but the ticket is revoked as he goes up to pull this one down. More of MLB Network Saturday baseball after this. Ready to begin the eighth. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. First pitch on its way. This one's outside, quite a bit off the plate that time. Now the 1 0. Is swung on and missed strike one. one. Action in that KC pen now as a right hander's begun to loosen up. No oh, offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Oh, and they pull the string on a good changeup there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Time now for our starter now comparison, back. and back. that tells the story. As you can see, neither guy able to get past five innings. Ready for another shot now. Joey Wendell, no hits to this point. First offering on its way. All right. oh and one. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball oh. off the plate away, a ball and a strike. One one fouled off. A bouncer up the middle. In time to first, and there are two away. The center fielder, number ten, Adam Ethan. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Adam Eaton. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. No balls in one strike. A one pitch on its way. And he lays off for ball one. One ball, one strike. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gordon on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They hold on to a 5 4 lead. Brandon Workman goes on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 44, Brandon. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And next, the dangerous power threat, Salvador Perez. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. Starts him out with the knuckle curve, and he swings through it for strike one.
close there but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Perez waiting on the 1 1. Two and two. Two, two. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Struck him out. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's true. So in the eighth inning of a one-run game, that's a really nice job of attacking a hitter and sending him packing. So now to the plate, Ryan O'Hearn. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Workman has tossed over 30 innings so far this season and when you look at his whip over those innings it's not a particularly pretty number over 1.5 so he's often dealing with a lot of traffic on the base paths unfortunately and one and one as this one's in on the hands one out nobody on fouled away. Ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. Ball three. Three and two now. You see a right-handed batter waiting next, but he could very well be pulled back as the situation dictates. Bases are empty, one man out. Got him swinging in the dirt. Vasquez is after it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. You know, professional catchers make those plays look easy most of the time, but that was a big play that shouldn't go unnoticed. Had he found a way on, he would have represented a tying run, so that was a nice job there to make sure that strikeout didn't get wasted. Trying to pick things up where he left off, Michael Franco. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Big swing and a miss at the knuckle curve, strike one. And it's quickly 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. One ball, two strikes. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. And the throw to first ends the inning. Pretty painless half of the inning, all told. We played eight full. It's the Red Sox five and the Royals four. All set for the start of the inning, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Andrew Benintendi. First delivery to him on the way. Hard hit toward the hole, and that is in the left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. Hey, this looks like it could be a potential add-on inning here in the ninth. Add-on gives some breathing room to their pitcher going into the bottom of the inning, D-Row. Yeah, you love when the offense stays aggressive. And you also like giving your relief pitcher a chance to breathe a little bit, not having to come out there with just a one-run lead. At the plate now, J.D. Martinez. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. One for two in the ball game thus far. The 
the 1-0 home. That's the ball. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Popped him up. O'Hearn over to his left. And that's the first out of the inning. The bat, number two, shortstop, Xander Boga. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Xander Bogarts. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. Two balls and no strikes for Bogarts. Runner at first here, one man out. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Gordon is there. He's got it, and there are two down now. Up next for the Red Sox, the third baseman, Rafael Devin. So striding in, Rafael Devers. He singled his last time up. First pitch on its way. That's the ball. One ball, no strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Can't sit back long enough and the count evens up at one and one. He's set now the pitch. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone one and two. Wow great pitch right there right changing speeds. How about that straight change up. How about that swing. Howdy if you're waving at me. Swing and he popped him up over in foul territory back behind third. Dozier will put this one away and the side is retired. One left for the Red Sox. They lead it five to four. Marcus Walden please. takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 64. Marcus Walden. Leading off the inning, Brett Phillips, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season. And he's blown several saves up to this point. One and oh, the count. And now pitch on the way. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Walden features an absolute power slider and he uses it a lot. He throws it hard and gets a lot of late movement on that pitch. Yeah, that and this is one of the reasons why this guy is so hard to square up and get the barrel of that on. He throws hard in this slider that he throws. It, it takes a sharp break down and it's really hard to get the barrel on it. You'll see lots of swings and misses and he can throw this pitch three four times in a row and still make hitters look bad. And there's a strike as he'll try to work his way back. It's three and one. Lifted down the line in left. And that will end up a foul ball. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. 
Into the box now, Adalberto Mondesi. As he'll take a look at a slider that can't make it back to the corner, it's ball one. Cut fastball, and it's by him one and one. Strike two as that's taken on the outside part of the plate. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Well, you have to feel pretty confident about the way this one's going to end up as a manager. Two hitters, two strikeouts from the closer. There's not a whole lot more he can do to instill confidence that he's going to wrap this thing up without any problem. Stepping up to the plate, Alex Gordon. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Pitch to the plate as a sinker for a called strike one. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Adios, pelota. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And we are tied again. and you give up a home run in the bottom of the ninth to tie it. Now you just have to continue to play this one out. At the plate, Rip Merrifield. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1-for-4 day. Into his windup, the 1-0. A ball and a strike. And some action now in the Boston bullpen as a right-hander is up and throwing. Even at one and one, the pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Two out, nobody on. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count three and two. Jorge Soler would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Count is full. The pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential winning run is aboard at first. Well, that was a slider in a 3-2 count. And it just didn't tempt him enough to get a good swing. A good job of pitch recognition and knowing the strike zone to draw the free pass there. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Jorge Soler. He's got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap. Here's the first pitch. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Runner back standing. The 0 1. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Now the 2 1.
Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. So this game will not end here in the bottom of the ninth as they push across the equalizer and we're right back where we started from. Tenth inning coming up and we are all tied five to five. Now the Red Sox D.H. Michael Chavis. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Ball one to start the at bat. Ball and strike. One and one. Fooled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. The one two. He swung on and missed strike three. Well, this pitching staff has done a pretty good job right there. That's the fourth time he struck out, and we're only in the second game of this series. Standing in now, Mitch Moreland. As he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. The 1 0. Good. One ball, one strike. One out, nobody on. Ball and two strikes now. The one two. Ground ball right side straight into the shift. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Up next for the red side. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. Stepping in, Christian Vasquez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. A one and one count now to Vasquez. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Gets the sign, the two and one. Hard on the ground towards short, and that's through for his first base hit in this one. Now that second base, Joey. Jose Peraza will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number three, Jose Peraza. Grounded back up the middle. Mondesi brings it in. Merrifield's right there to take the routine throw and retire the side. Red Sox lead one. This remains a five-all ball game. Ladies Jose Peraza will remain in the game at second base after coming on as a pinch hitter in the last half inning. Now playing second base, number three, Jose Peraza. Digging in now, Hunter Dozier. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. The third baseman, Hunter. First offering on its way. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. To one and two now. Yeah. 
hit hard on the ground to second. And this will find the seam into right field, and there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. And he needed extra innings to get it, but there's his first hit of the game, and that'll keep the hit streak alive and kicking. Tiro, that's one of the beautiful things about the game of baseball, right? You go extra innings, that lineup turns over and was able to get him one extra A.B. Yeah, and he'd be lying right now if he said he wasn't thinking about it. The boys hooked him up right there. Pitching staff extended the game a little bit. One more plate appearance, and he extends the hit streak. Keith Hembry is on out of the bullpen now as he gets to work in his 60th game of the season. And up steps Salvador Perez as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. The 1 0. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Ball and two strikes to the Royals catcher. Now the one and two pitch. This one gets away. And a huge mistake as that's going to move the winning run into scoring position. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you could see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strikeout. Ready once again, Ryan O'Hearn. He's gone hitless to this point. Not a great game up to this point, but none of that would matter if he could come through right here. A chance to be the hero. Here's the first pitch. That's the ball. The 1 0. Possible game winners at second base here with one away. Mine to the right side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And they're going to get an out out of this as they're able to put the tag on him there. Next will be the designated hitter, Michael Franco, for his career in this matchup. He's one for five. Here's the first pitch. Possible winning run stands at first with two out here. Breaking ball snaps in there for a called strike two. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. One left for Kansas City. Our score holds at five apiece. Eleventh inning set to get underway, and the next Speedy to bat is Speedy Adam Eaton. The center fielder, Adam Eaton. First delivery to him on the way. Like that pitch there, lefty on lefty matchup, curve ball away to a lefty, smart pitch. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside.
two and one now to the Boston leadoff hitter. And this one is over, and he works the count back to two and two. And now the count is full for the Boston center fielder. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Phillips is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. The right fielder, number 15, Andrew Benintendi. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew Benintendi. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. First pitch coming. Here it is. Wow. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen. Are you kidding me? Nobody goes five innings anymore. Runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Bases are empty, one man out. Pulled toward right center field. There to pull it in is Soler, and there are two away. Now batter, the left fielder, J.D. Martino. Into the box, J.D. Martinez. He got under one and popped out his last time up. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Swing and a miss, one and one. One and one. Swing and a ball hit toward the shortstop Mondesi. Reined in. Throw to first in plenty of time and the side is retired. So they're held in check here this half of the inning. It's getting late. One run can win it as we move to the bottom of the 11. And we are all tied 5-5. Five to five. Set now for the bottom of the 11. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Brett Phillips. Pitch on the way. And a good pitch on the inside corner for strike one. He's set. Here's the 0 1. And he can't get out of the way there. So the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. And this is the case of a guy taking one for the team. I think he could have gotten out of the way of this one, but he leans into it and puts himself on board. Now he represents the winning run, so it's a good move. So the Royals batting order turns over and set to go. Adalberto Mondesi, the winning run is at first base. Here's the first pitch. And he'll try to bunt that man to second, but this one kicks foul. The 0-1 showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. Got it back in time there, and it's 2-1. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw won't get him. Now at the plate, Alex Gordon. The winning run at second. However, the double play in order here. Here's the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. One there on to Moreland, but it's too late, so they'll get just the one. 
Coming to the plate now, Whit Merrifield. He's looking to bring home the winning run from third. Here's the first pitch. Oh, he's punting here to win the game, and he gets it down. And how do you like that? They roll the dice, the squeeze works, and it's going to end the ball game. What? What did I just see? My eyes have to be messing with me because I think I just saw a walk-off suicide squeeze to end this thing. Gutsy call or stupid, I'm not sure, but it sure looks like a genius move right now. Incredible. Well, the man you see there didn't start this one on the mound, but his performance certainly was impactful. That earns him the Topps Player of the Game award. Well, it's not that often a relief pitcher that's not a closer gets props like this, but this time, I think it's well-deserved. They needed him in some tough situations, and he passed every test with flying colors. I'm cool, yo. I'm starting to think no one told y'all. My diamonds and stones water. I TD like Coach Carter. Hey, tell my no soda. Get with me, want some products. And tonight's one run game comes to an end six to five the final Eric Scoglin wins out of the bullpen his ninth victory of the year Keith Hembry takes the loss only his first of the year so that's a wrap for us in this one Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney Matt Vaskersian we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network see you next time. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Kansas City Royals, six runs, nine hits, one error, they left nine men on base. For the Red Sox, five runs on 14 hits, no errors, they left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 43 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.